As soon as I see what... Oh, welcome back everybody. Last time on the Ocar on Ocarina of Time, we uh, met Princess Zelda and met some creepy spider human dudes who were cursed and we freed one of them without even realizing because I got so many. This time, you're going to notice I'm not back in Kakariko Village. We're back in our hometown. Uh, that is because there's something that I want to do here for story that I did not... That I wanted to wait till the next recording session to do, so here we are. I did have like a video, I did like start recording, and then the fire alarms went off, which is great. <laughs> so that that got rid of like a bunch of progress. Alright, so I'm gonna give you a quick recap of Lost Force. Don't go down areas where don't go down that area. This area is good. I had a down pat in my last recording, so watch, I'm gonna suck. Yep. Oh no! No! Oh! Well, I'll, well, I'll see if it... Yep, yep, it's three 100s in a row. So, in my last video, I got that, like, perfectly, pretty much, after finding the 100 spot. And I was, like, wondering, hey, it's been a long time, do you need to get three in a row, or is it just, uh... Or is it just three in total? It's three in a row. So instead of delivering us heart imaging items, he gives us the ability to carry more uh, slingshot pellets. Or bullets. So that's cool. Alright. So he's gonna explain something that I'm about to explain my words, my own words, so I'm just gonna press A. So what you're gonna do in here is you're gonna follow the path that the song's playing the most. And that's basically how you want to get through this place. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune too. Do you? And then he's like, hoo hoo hoo. Do you want to hear what I say? No. You will make it through the forest just fine if I'm courageous enough. Or maybe if I'm not deaf. <laughs> All right. And we're not gonna we're not gonna go down there just quite yet. I'll show you what that is later. For that, we can't even dive that deep for now. Not not if he wants to talk to us, but no. Yep. So just put all this path that I'm creating. It's not bad at all. There is some side stuff that we'll be showing later. It's just we can't really do anything right now. Oh, we're at the sacred forest meadow. Get your shield out. See, this guy wants to have a word with us. See, I got hit there. What you're supposed to do is not get hit by him. Otherwise, he's gonna deal a quarter of a harder damage to you. I mean, that doesn't affect us much, because we literally have four hearts, but... If we weren't, if we weren't, it could be a problem. It's not going to matter, we're probably going to get hit by stuff here anyway. Alright. Get over here. I managed to get him. I managed to get him on target. It serves you right for trying to kill me. Alright, that works out pretty well. Alright, so this is actually a little bit shorter than the last one I made, so that's cool. You get to see less of me walking around randomly. Yeah, another way I realized you can take care of those guys is just use your slingshot and Z target them, and as soon as they stop moving, then you're all set to shoot and kill. 
Oh, that's not what we're here for. We're here for you, Syria. I've been waiting for you, Kenny. This is a sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. Ah, not, not foreshadowing at all. Nope, nope, no way. Let's just ignore the giant structure that's right, right above us. And let's never go to that place. <laughs> if you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. You what now? You can do what now? <coughs> Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Yes. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Follow along with Surya's song. And other news, it looks like it looks like Joe's having some technical issues. No, I get that error message like three times a day on Final Fantasy. Oh boy. So yeah, that's two K shit they need to fix. Oh boy. Great, great. Don't, and please don't forget this song, do you promise? When you want to hear my voice, play Surya's song. You could talk with me anytime. Okay, the amount of usefulness of you speak is literally main story. You learned Surya's song. Alright, so now some of the other stuff I said I was going to go through. Now you can see there's this ladder that I didn't go to. Alright. And we have this milk bottle here. I need a nice drink. Now warning, this is a complete waste of milk. But milk is easily obtainable. Oh, you'd be like, why did I just drink my milk when I was at full health? Shouldn't I wait till I'm like, till I'm not like a difficult boss? Well, I tried to jump into there at the same jump, but it didn't want to work. Fairy's Fountain! We're gonna go on a field day here, boys. Now you see, what we have right here is you got a fairy, even though, as we can clearly see in the bottle, there is no fairy. I don't know if fairies know how to be. I don't know the extent of fairies being invisible power, but inside my bottle, you can clearly see there's no fairy. But <laughs> hey, I'll take it. This tiny fairy is a reliable partner who will revive you the moment you run out of life energy and bring you all the way back up to full. Once you set it to see, though, you can ask for its help anytime, which will restore you to full. And now here's the fun part. You don't even need to have the fairy equipped on your main bar. So basically what that means is if we die for some stupid reason, we come back, boys. And what's fun is, uh, in like no death runs of like Zelda, if you get revived by a fairy, it doesn't count for your death counter. Because you're revived. But if you have to like die and see the game over screen, then then it counts towards toward your death counter. Thank you, Owl. You're just what I wanted to see. Yes, I learned no Korean song from Surya. That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with C, where a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song you know. I suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this. Hoo 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 toot hoot hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? The amount of useful melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status of screen. You should memorize those, me 
melodies. Well, I know literally all of the basic ones. I know some of the teleportation ones later. So I think I think Owl, I should be the one who's lecturing you. Alright, so stuff I said I wanna do. Well actually there's more like stuff I said in the lab. Uh, so there's stuff that we still need to do here. So first things first. These guys, down here. That's right, we're at this mini game. Follow along with our song and your ocarina will lead you into it. So you're starting off by playing Surya's song. I like it. I'll take Surya's song. Yep, you're literally playing Surya song. Please keep the easy stuff till the end. You are you are fucking playing Surya song. This. You know, one time during the so these guys basically keep on playing, and the reward is a piece of heart at the end. So that's what I'm gonna do here because we're in the same vicinity. What? playing here. Okay, let's just get advanced with that 8 button, though. But yeah, one time I had it was like down A, down A, down A, down A. <laughs> and I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Alright, yeah, just Oh, now we're getting now we're getting a bit more advanced. I do not like that song. That 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 did not have a nice rhythm. What? Do you want to play some more? No, but the answer is yes. I can dig this tune. I say I can dig this tune, but we're in three notes in it. I'm pretty sure this is the eight tune one. Okay. Well, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, so I want to play some more. Alright. I'll take this. Okay. Why am I having my finger over A? No, don't have your finger over A, because I'll accidentally press it. And then it's gonna suck. Okay, there's A. Please, please go on a consistent melody, please. Alright, I can pretend it's starting to repeat now. What'd I do wrong? Why am I sucking right now? I already don't like this song. to screw up on the song because I really don't like it, but I'm going to see how far I can get. I really don't like this song. Oh, please. Please make it simple. 
Stop it repeating! Please. I just want to get to the last note. We're at the last note. Oh, it repeats for the last ones. Lords be blessed. Yes. So that's what I like. I like when it repeats. You got a piece of heart. You completed another heart container. I had three already. I guess so. Well, we just got another heart, heart piece. That's cool. So now we're up to five. Now, I don't think I'll be going for 100%, but... You better be sure I'll be getting as many as I can. So from here, what you want to do is go over here. Now this guy, I, I didn't want to come over here until after we got Surya's song. And in case you're wondering, Surya's song is required. Play Surya's song to him. You know Surya's song. We should be friends. Here, take this. You got a piece of heart. Collect four pieces total to get another heart container. More containers mean more life energy. So yeah, you wouldn't really do anything if you didn't pop up there. Now, if we go down here, this is usually where you go for the bridge, like to get to. Alright, so here we're gonna introduce the Deku Peddlers. I think that's their name. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku sticks, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Let's make a deal. So now we doubled our Deku stick capacity to 20. We're getting a bunch of upgrades today. Alright. My vote is... Alright, now we can go back to Kakariko Village. I think we've spent enough time in this area. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna head back through through Hyrule, Hyrule Fields. We have to go all the way. Ah, hi, Mr. Skeletons. Very spooky skeletons. Now, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna wait till it's daytime so we can get some other stuff out of the way. But if not, it doesn't matter. Please, be, please become day so I can do it now and not after. Just as a warning, we're probably not gonna be making any story progress in this episode. <laughs> probably should have put that disclaimer. Probably should have put that disclaimer in the beginning. Oh well. Watch for the entertainment. I don't know. I don't know what entertainment is. How do I be entertaining? Nope, I'm literally gonna wait till daylight. Do you have a gold coin on it? No, you have rupees and you have rupees sadness and disappointment. No, you don't have no rupees. Also see. <laughs> also see. Alright, we're back in Kakariko Village. This time it's daylight. Last time we were there at night time. So yeah, this guy is different. Alright. Ha, Kaku! I'm gonna pick you up for no reason whatsoever. Or am I? Because you see, there's a little side quest I want to do here. Alright. Because if we talk to you... Makakus have run away. Please catch six more. Now, we could throw... Yeah, I'm gonna throw this one in there. 
Alright. Alright. I'm gonna go to the farthest one first. And no, it's, they're not all just randomly running around. You do have to do certain things to get some of the cocoons, but trust me, the reward for this little effort is worth it. Yeah, it is. Please, please, can I like skip? Alright, throw this cocoon over here. Grab this one here. So you need a cocoon to either fly from that side or from the top of that roof. So if you're getting the last one, I'd recommend just doing what I did. Save you a little bit of time. Now my buddy over here, Mr. Cuckoo, where did you run off to? Now, we got that guy right there, so that's good. But, where are the last three, you might ask? Well, if you roll into that, or you, I suppose you can use a bomb, but you don't want to, like, Anger Kakus. The whole infamous uh, Kaku chasing you very much applies here. Now, instead of throwing this guy in the pad, how about we go for a little walk up these stairs? This chicken's just like, please help me. Alright. And. Okay. You can go retire. Because now we have this cuckoo right here, which, big surprise, we're going to take over here, and right for the cliffhanger, we're going to throw it over there. We're like, hey, how come you just didn't take that cuckoo? And they're like, that, wait, that's only two cuckoos. We need three, and they're God. They're God. They're God. What is up with the sun, sun glare? Here's the last cuckoo you need. So yeah, you see you want to go to the side. What I've also done in the past is if you're good, uh, good enough at the timing, you can release the cuckoo by going straight ahead and you jump off the windmill platform there. And you should be able to grab onto the platform and the cuckoo drops down right below. But that one's always the safer option. And now we pick up the cuckoos that we threw over here and we throw them in the pen. So I said, I think that took all of like five minutes. But they don't have most. So obviously you'll need multiple tries or not. Good at throwing cuckoos. Where did the last one run off, run off to? You ran off over here. Get in your home. That's your home. Don't want to go to your home. Thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Why are you taking care of cuckoos? If you have an allergy to it. For help me, I will give this to you. It's fine glass, it should be, uh, should be useful. Please take good care of it. You got an empty bottle. For a fairy. <laughs> yeah, I know I should have done this and then got the fairies, but oh well. Oh, I'm sure I'll be seeing some fairies sometime soon. After you put something in this bottle set to see when you want to use the item inside. Alright, that's cool and all. I think I want to do one more thing before I end off this episode. Speak to that guy. Just kidding. You're not useful. No, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the graveyard. My favorite location. And sadly, because of this day, I can't do a certain thing I want to do. Because that guy... Basically, I want to pull one of these gravestones to get to a hidden area, but that... It's this one in particular with the flowers, so if you're coming in here at night... Don't cause trouble, I'll tell Dompe. You know Dompe is like a hat and like an undead freak of nature, right? Alright. So here, you're going to see, it says, check. The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. Hey, didn't we just get a song last episode to prove that we're connected to royal family? 
I think we did. <coughs> so we get. Du, 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 du. And by playing Zelda's Lullaby and proving that we are members of the family, this happens. It gets all stormy and. Uh. Pretty much. Oh. And, uh, Thunderbolt. Pikachu! Oh, it's more like fucking thunderous. Those thunderbolts. And the whole gravestone disappeared. Eat. Eat it out of here. Which we can actually go down to. Down to. Which we can go down to. Down! There we go. That's, we gotta go down. Here's the thing. Alright, we're at the royal family's tomb. A very happy location. There's always one enemy that's just like refuses to come out. Oh no, or he can just hide in plain sight. You know. Like a jack like a jack hole. Now we're gonna go up here. Because why not, right? And in here, listen to my advice. Go over here, immediately go left. Roll, roll as fast as you can. I didn't get caught. I don't know how, but in all there, those were Redeads. Redeads will paralyze you, and if you don't escape in time, they will eat your bones until you are but a husk, a husk of ruined decay. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set. A newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun. Give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's a secret melody of the composer brothers. Keep the sun song in your heart. Oh, I know the sun song. Oh, I know this song very, very well. Oh, me and the sun song go way back. It's the beginning of time. This is usually the song I get right after getting Zelda's all by if it's not a bonus song. Because it's on the way to Kakariko. Basically, what this song does, it allows you to change the time from day to night whenever you damn want to. You learn the sun song. And you can mess with the with the astronomy as much as you want. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the sun song. Now we're gonna keep that last part in mind as we travel back. See those redeads? It'd be a shame that someone put them to calm. Yep, they're all frozen. Well, I just voluntarily decided to step into a pool of poison. Cause you know, that's normal. But yeah, we just learned two songs, we got two two pieces of heart, three, and another bottle. And to top it all off, let's end this day on a good note. It is nighttime in the graveyard. Hey, Dompe's out. I don't have enough rupees for you yet, Dompe. Don't you worry, I will come back to you and I will show you the horror that is your mini game. But instead, Dompe don't give no shit. See, that kid, kid was like, I'll tell Dompe on you. Dompe, Dompe, I just I just opened that grave, uh, gravestone right in front of Dompe. He's just like, Hi, I'm a half ogre, I'm dead person. I like shoveling and taking all your money. Open this chest up. Remember how I said buying that Hyrule, Hyrule, uh, that Hylian shield in Hyrule Town would have been a big, big mistake? This is why. 
just open up the gravestone at night in the grave in the graveyard and you get one for free save your money spend it on I don't know red potion or something like that anything more useful all right so I think I'm gonna end this video off here if you guys like the episode please like and subscribe and be ready for next time where we're actually make progress and go see about getting the spiritual stone of fire you all have a great day